Oppenheimer, Christopher Nolan's three-hour masterpiece. I'm sure most of you have seen it by now. It's about the secretive Manhattan Project and building the world's first atomic bomb. They did a great job in the movie of using historically accurate eyewear. And of course, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hello and welcome to the Hicks Brunson Eyewear YouTube channel. I am your friendly neighborhood optician, Daniel Brunson. And if you wanna get more content relating to eyewear, eyewear style, fashion lenses, transitions lenses is some of our most popular content here at the channel. Go ahead and do me a favor and subscribe right down below so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. But today we're gonna to talk about Christopher Nolan's masterpiece. Now guys, I'm sure most of you have seen this by now. It's been hugely popular movie. Uh, three hours long. I, uh, if you know me, you know I'm not a fan of uh, anything that's over about two and two hours, ten minutes or so. That's when I start to go. Uh, mm. uh, but this movie, um, I have to say, I went to see it at the IMAX theater, and uh, it did not feel like three hours at all. And Christopher Nolan, uh, somebody who you know is the master of their craft, when they can make a three-hour movie uh, that builds up to one singular explosion in the entire movie and the rest of it is about the security hearings and Robert Oppenheimer's uh, security clearance and the aftermath of all that and of course we're not going to dissect the movie today because that's not what we do on this channel but we are going to talk about the eyewear and let's talk about some of the people some of the characters uh, first of all you've got Robert Downey Jr. who plays Louis Strauss and he's a member of the Atomic Energy Commission, and he plays an increasingly antagonistic character during Oppenheimer's security uh, hearings. And I have to say, as a side note, Robert Downey Jr.'s eyewear game, I've admired it for years, uh, at least 10 years now. I've been watching his eyewear style. He wears a lot of really cool looks, and so as soon as I saw he was gonna portray this character, Louis Strauss, in the movie, and he was gonna wear some historically accurate eyewear by AO, American Optical Eyewear. I was super excited to dive right into this video. So we're gonna start there. Uh, Robert Downey Jr., he's seen through many of the security hearings uh, wearing this piece right here. So as I mentioned, this is by American Optical. This is called The Times. This is the black crystal color. So American Optical, just a brief rundown, one of the oldest brands in the world, dates back to the 1830s. In recent years, they've revived a lot of their historical pieces that were popular in the 40s and 50s. So this, again, this is called uh, the, time, um, the Times, and this is in black crystal. So it's a 47i, 21 bridge. This piece, my friends, has been copied over and over and over by other companies from in the decades since uh, American Optical made it. Um, when they reproduced this piece a few years back, they went to great lengths to get the details right, uh, to make it look uh, very authentic to that original piece that was in, that they made in the 50s. I love the black crystal. This really captures the style of the time period uh, that the Oppenheimer movie was made. You've got a thicker acetate right through here, and you've got the black runs over here almost all the way to the bridge, not quite to the bridge, then you fade into the crystal. Uh, this piece here has a seven barrel, nice thick hinge, very solid, very smooth. Uh, you got the classic American optical pins right here on the front and also on the temple arms. So I wanna point out the designers, they really, they, when they revamped this, uh, this shape, uh, and somewhat recently, they really got the ergonomics uh, done well. Uh, by that I mean, you know, the bridge fit, the temple fit over the back of the ear. You have, as was common in the 50s, you have a slightly wider kind of paddle arm temple here that just kind of hugs the back of the head. You have a nice smooth rounded bridge. Uh, so I love the comfort of this. And what I love about the movie a lot of the scenes where Robert Downey Jr. is wearing this piece are the black and white scenes, and it's just, <laughs> it's so cinematic. He's, he's sitting here, and he's asking questions, and he's in the hearings, and he's kind of got the frame. It's like sort of halfway down his nose. It's sort of dramatic looking. Um, if you want a frame that looks good in black and white footage, 
Uh, it, it's hard to go wrong with this. Like just perfectly captures the essence of the time period. So again, the American Optical Times in black crystal. This is a 4721, uh, fantastic look. So check this one out, guys. Now we're gonna move on to another piece and that is the tournament. All right, so the tournament. This is another piece that dates back to the 1950s. It was originally described as a bold masculine frame for those who enjoy the challenge of competition, and that's what makes it perfect for Jason Clark's Roger Robb character in the film to wear. He was handpicked by Louis Strauss. He was a U.S. attorney, he was a courtroom veteran, and he was handpicked to go after Oppenheimer in the security clearings. So. I think we got some competition right there. Uh, we got some bold masculine competition going on in some of those hearings. So this again, classic, beautiful look, the tournament. And this is a fantastic color. It is called Black Tortoise. So what you're gonna see here, full, uh, you know, you have, you have a double laminate with the color. So you have black on the front, all the entire outside part of the frame that shows to the world is black. Then you have this tortoise color right on the inlay. And so what you have in a lot of the footage, a lot of the film, you have these scenes are shot in black and white. And so as uh, Jason Clark, as he's wearing this frame and he's kind of moving his head around and he's looking into the camera and he's looking at Oppenheimer, you can just catch glimpses and glimmers of the tortoise on the backside as the light hits it just right. So really kind of an interesting look. You don't see a lot of frames that are made these days that have a uh, tortoise where it's mostly hidden and on the inlay and you just catch glimmers of it. Uh, the tournament here is one of those frame colors that does that and captures it quite well. It has the same seven barrel tank of a durable hinge that the Times has and it has the same iconic American optical markings on the front and on the, on the temple arms. Nice and smooth polish, again, very well done, ergonomically designed to fit comfortably over the back of the ear. I love the comfort of the bridge because they've sculpted it nicely through here and they've given it a nice, good polish. So when you put it on the face, it wears really well and it fits really comfortably. And this is one of those styles that it's a 52i and a 20 bridge. And I have a pretty average medium sized face so you can kind of tell this is one of those frames that's going to fit a lot of people really well. I would say in comparison to the Times here, which is the 4721, um, definitely a bit smaller, a little narrower through here. Um, and to me, of the two pieces, this look here, although it definitely captures the look of the 1950s, it's a much more, I'd say, bread and butter look. We've seen this look used a lot more through the years where we've seen this one copied a lot but i would say this has not been one of those looks that in the time since that period i don't think we would ever say that this has kind of been a mainstream look like this definitely this has much more what i think of as like that period the period of the 1940s 50s look i think this one captures that if you wear this today you know people are going to look at this and that this looks like vintage glasses like the thing i love about this piece right here is it looks like you may have had this for a very long time, or you may have inherited this from someone who, you know, from, from a grandfather or a father or someone who owned this uh, back in that time period. So if you really want that vintage look, this one totally gives off that vibe. So you've got great eyewear from the movie Oppenheimer, and you've got a great film. So if you haven't seen it yet, I encourage you to go check it out. If you wanna check out the eyewear, we will have both models, the tournament and the times, up on the Hicks Brunson website, hicksbrunson.com. Of course, we'll make all those links available in the description box down below. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give us a comment, give us a like. We really appreciate you watching and we will see you in the next video.